Have you ever thought that why HVLC column die with the passage of time or why the performance of the column decreases with the time or what are the factors which are responsible for the poor performance of the HVLC column So in this video we are going to learn about five contributing factors which are responsible for the poor column performance So let's get started without any further delay During HVLC analysis there are certain symptoms which will give you the indication that there is something wrong with the hvlc column for example increased column back pressure peak tailing decrease in the theoretical plate count peak broadening and loss of selectivity etc if you get any of these symptoms during the hvlc analysis then straight away you can suspect poor column performance as a cause for these symptoms so there are five main causes because of which hvlc column performance decreases Number 1 blockage of the column frit or column inlet number 2 adsorption of the sample impurities inside the column surface number 3 poorly packed stationary face number 4 mechanical or thermal shocks during the column handling number 5 chemical attack on the stationary face so let us discuss all these causes one by one in detail partial blockage of the column frit or the column inlet if sample solution contains particulate matter then it can cause partial blockage of the column frit or the column inlet partial blockage of the column inlet will reduce the lifetime of the column that is the reason it is always advised to filter or centrifuge sample solution before injecting into the hvlc system it has been seen that the particles can also arise from the wear and tear of the pump and the injector seals which later may block the column inlet now the question arises what will be the indication of column inlet or the column frit blockage so guys whenever there is a column inlet blockage there will be increased column back pressure many a time it has also been seen that damaged rotor seal can also act as a major source of the particles which later on may block the column inlet or the column frit therefore we should regularly inspect rotor seal for any kind of deposition around it adsorption of the sample impurities or the contaminants inside the column surface so column performance or the column life often reduce significantly due to build up of the strongly retained sample impurities inside the column surface generally during the analysis of complex sample molecules this type of issues are seen and whenever there is a build up of the strongly retained impurities inside the column surface then peak broadening and the peak tailing is seen build up of the sample impurities or the contaminants can also be reduced by the usage of guard columns as you may already know that the packing of the guard column is always equivalent to the main analytical column guard column will capture the strongly retained sample impurities and will prevent their entry into the main column guard column should be replaced time to time build up of the strongly retained sample impurities or the contaminants can also be avoided by giving column washing at the end of every hvlc analysis for washing related instructions always refer your test method or the column manufacturer's recommendations one more thing which you should always keep in mind that always pre treat complex sample molecules to remove the strongly retained impurities or the contaminants poorly packed column initial condition of the packed column and the way in which column is used will determine the column lifetime after short uses compaction of the packed bed causes the formation of the void at the column inlet and the presence of void at the column inlet will causes sudden decrease in the theoretical plate number if column material is poorly packed then voids will be seen more often here packing does not mean the outer packing of the column but packing means inside column material packing so therefore it is very important to use the column supplied by the well reputed manufacturers only mechanical or the thermal shocks sudden pressure increase or the thermal shocks should be avoided to minimize the change in the peak shape and the theoretical plate count number all type of the sudden mechanical shocks should be avoided for example dropping of the column on the bench top or the rapidly changing the temperature of the column oven 
all these situations may lead to the formation of the voids inside the column surface due to which there will be peak shape issues or decrease in the theoretical plate count chemical attack column lifetime can reduce significantly by the loss of stationary phase during usage always try to avoid the combinations of the mobile phase and the stationary phase which lead to the rapid loss of the bonded phase for example silica based columns are ph sensitive low ph will hydrolyze the bonded phase and high ph will dissolve the silica if mobile phase ph is near to 2 or 8 then before usage of the column please check the manufacturer coa recommendations related to the ph one more important point which uh, you need to keep in mind that column storage conditions also affect the column lifetime so never ever store the column containing the buffers or the iron pairing agent because presence of the buffer will lead to the microbial growth and it will damage the column so best advice related to storage of the column will be use the same solvent which is mentioned in the respective column coa so this was all about the factors which affect the column performance or the column life hope you have learned something new today bye bye and happy learning